to get your scenes from OBS Studio to your video conferencing software, you can use the built-in OBS virtual camera. But to also get your audio, including your OBS audio filters, there are a few more steps. The first one is to download the virtual audio cable. Get it for free with the links in the video description. Once you've finished installing the virtual audio cable, it will create two new virtual audio devices on your system. The first one is a virtual speaker called Cable Input, and the second one is a virtual microphone called Cable Output. Let's jump back over to OBS Studio, and now is a good opportunity to understand the difference between output and monitoring. Output is the combined audio and video package that OBS is going to send either to your stream when you click the Start Streaming button or to the recording when you click the Start Recording button in OBS Studio. The third option down here, the virtual camera, only has video as part of its output. So output is the first type of signal out and the second type is monitoring. And monitoring allows you to listen to the audio from your OBS setup while you're streaming. What you hear in your headphones through the monitoring function can be different than what the stream hears. And that is the feature that we're going to be leveraging together with the virtual audio cable. So step number two is to set up the virtual audio cable as your monitoring device. Click on settings in the bottom right hand corner, then go to audio and scroll down to the advanced options. Here under monitoring device, select the virtual audio cable as your monitoring device and click on OK. In OBS Studio, you can select which of your audio sources do you want to monitor. And in this case, which of those sources are going to be sent to the virtual audio cable and your video conferencing software. So step three is to select the right sources for monitoring. Click on the gear icon here and then pick advanced audio properties. Here is a list of all the audio sources that I have in my OBS setup. On the top is an alert based on a web page that's buy me a coffee. The second one is my camera and the third one is my microphone. Let's scroll over to the right side of the screen. Here you can see that for each audio source, there are three options. Monitor off means that it only goes into the output feed, so to speak. The second one is monitor only. It doesn't go into the feed, which could be the recording or the stream. And then the last one is that it goes to both. I recommend picking monitor and output because if you would like to record your stream as you're using it in video conferencing, this will capture the audio as well. In this case, the only audio source that I want to include is my microphone. So I'm going to click on close there. Now we've completed the first three steps in OBS Studio. The next one is going to be in your video conferencing software, and I'm going to use Zoom as an example. Here we are inside of a Zoom meeting using the OBS virtual camera. Let's take step number four in setting up our virtual audio cable. I'm going to go into the audio settings in here. Here inside the Zoom audio settings, I have a list of all my microphones. One of them is the virtual audio cable. And as soon as I select the virtual audio cable, you can see that the audio that we configured in OBS Studio is coming through here inside of Zoom. Are you getting value? Hit the like button. OBS and the virtual camera is such a powerful tool for sharing impressive visuals in your Zoom meetings like I'm doing right now. With this setup, I can easily switch slides, but I can also switch layouts and put my camera in the corner. I can remove it completely. I can quickly switch to my webcam and then I can bring back my slides again. If you would like to copy my setup, just go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. For more great tips on how to use OBS Studio for video conferencing, click or tap the screen right here. In that playlist, I share plenty more tips of all the amazing things that you can do with OBS Studio. For example, creating a meeting timer. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.